Hello boys and girls, welcome to another Big Adam tutorial today on the HS series of carburettors. On a mini form I normally frequent, a lot of people have a problem with wondering how much oil they put in the dash pot, which is this part here. This is pretty much the same for HS and HIF carbs from SU, but I'm not sure for anything else. Now the oil in here controls how quickly or slowly this piston goes up and down, which you probably can't see, you might be able to is where the jet needle is. The higher this is, the more fuel and more air that goes in. How much oil do you need to put in? Can't see anything with that, so I'm going to need a torch. There you go. Good torch. And if you look, there's a collar just in there. And that collar is... I carefully remove it. Put this down a second so I don't bend the needle. Oh, I should have really rebuilt these carburetors by now. There we go. So that inner collar there is actually the top of that. So all you need to do is, because the hole in the middle of that is just a well that this piston fits into. There we go. Damn your autofocus. The piston sits in there. And the oil dampens how quickly the jet piston goes up and down. Now then, you want to fill up to just above that collar. But you can fill it up all the way as long as your knee jet assembly, I mean plunger, the little hole. If you put too much in, the oil will just square the little hole. That's it. Put as much oil in as you like. I use engine oil, most people recommend 4-in-1, 3-in-1, just a thin oil, or you can get proper SU carburetor oil. So, that's how much oil to put in an SU carburetor. So, always, I'm Big Adam, and I do crap tutorials. But my HS2s need a rebuild.